Recently, juuling has become a huge issue in high schools across the nation. Now, what's a juul, you might be asking? Well, it's very similar to a vape in that it vaporizes nicotine in a heated chamber and then delivers it to your lungs. As you all know, nicotine is the chemical in cigarettes that causes them to become addicting. A Juul pod, the refillable canister, has enough nicotine that's equal to one package of regular cigarettes. The main concern is that there has been little to no research on the long-term effects of vaping. There has been one study that claims that vaping is detrimental to the lungs, but it was only tested on lung cells in a petri dish and on mice in a lab. Most researchers agree that while vaping is better for you than smoking regular cigarettes, it's still not good for you. For the club spotlight, I talked to Courtney Meyer about FFA as well as the calves that are being raised in the barn. So the FFA does a program where we can get dairy steers and raise them throughout the spring and summer and then show them at the fairs in the fall. And so this year we've got four dairy steers up at the barn. There's Beau Duke, Leroy, Bailey, and Dietz. FFA is a national organization. We span all across the country. We are really concerned with agriculture and just getting people more involved in the ag industry as well as developing leadership skills and public speaking skills and developing career success. I've gained a lot of new friendships from traveling to national convention. I get to meet people from all over the country and at state convention I get to meet people from all over the state. So I've gained a lot of new relationships and also um, a bunch of new skills that I would have never gotten if I hadn't joined. You can join FFA by coming and talking to Mr. Harris or Ms. Reimer and they'll help you from there. Hello and welcome back to another episode of EZPN Sports Center. I'm here with Luke Milligan and I'm Parker Grant and this week we're going to tell you again about the upcoming sporting events just like the usual. That's right, the men's golf has no matches this week. Uh, the softball team has a game Tuesday against Hendersonville and Thursday against Pisgah. The baseball team has a game Thursday at Pisgah. The women's soccer team has a game today against Hendersonville and Wednesday against Pisgah. And the tennis team on Friday and Saturday, they will have regionals at Gardner-Webb. The track team has their conference meet on Thursday at East Henderson. We got some more amazing highlights for you guys this week, and we're going to start them off with number three. Wow, those were some pretty impressive highlights, weren't they, Parker? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think that about sums it up for us here at EZPN. I'm Luke Milligan here with Parker Grant. And we're signing off. Year, Skeeter. Not putting it on. <laughs>